Hey YouTube, Dragonology99 again. It's uh, It's been about a month since my last video, but I figured I'd post a deck update for Disaster Dragon since I'll probably be going to uh, Regionals next week with it. And it's uh, changed quite a lot. So, let's get started. We got three red eyes. Um, always good for Big Beater running over Xien and other things. Three pluses. You know, the works. One light and darkness dragon. Um, it just it just ends a lot of games, really. A lot of the times I'll keep it in my hand and won't summon it, but the times that it does get summoned, it'll just end the game. Uh, because if you summon it when your opponent has basically like no resources available, uh, they'll, they'll just scoop. One Prime Material Dragon for protection and stuff. Good. One copy of Vice for those emergency synchro plays with uh, Dark End and Scrap Dragon, whatever have you. Three Red Eyes Wyvern. Uh, good Wind 1800 Beater, generic. Beat stick that gets you recursion with red eyes. Three mass dragons, your basic recruiter. Um, yeah, if anyone has dual terminal mass dragons, I'm looking for a place out of those. So PM me or something so I could work something out. Two Kyokimero Drago. Um, I didn't have these in there for a bit. But they worked their way back into the main deck after I saw the deck lists from the Disaster Dragon that topped in Paris. Uh, both of those ran Drago, and when I thought about it, it's a great way to stop Shen from ever hitting the field, because he just happens to be a dark type. Uh, it just wrecks, um, you know, frogs and formula monarchs, because they can't get formula sync run out, among other things. Um, just really good... Helps you run over a spy without them plussing. Plus, it's great for siding out in matchups where you know it's not good. So, uh, one copy of Totem. I uh, two. I, I wasn't actually using the second one. In uh, I found even with Dragon Ravine, you can just. It's so much easier to get access to this Totem, and you only need it once for recovery. Otherwise, you're probably in a state where you're not going to win. You already have one. Um, Delta Flyer, basic uh, tuner. Dread Dragon, uh, tuner, recruiter. Uh, mass Dragon into Dread. They run it over, you add a card to your hand, and then you can summon Dread from the grave to sync with stuff. So he's, he's good. Exploder, uh, slow guy worked his way back in here. Uh, as uh, Dragon Duelist Girl pointed out, he's a great way to get rid of Xian uh, due to him being a monster effect. Or at the very least, the waste of Magatama on it, which is especially good if you're just walling off mass dragons and don't have a dread dragon to um, suicide. So at least you're getting some of their resources off the field. Three gold Sark um, just makes first turn future fusion or a search for future fusion happen so often. Um, great for pretty much everything. I mean, Searches everything, so you know it's got to be a good card. Two MST, uh, pretty staple right now. Two copies of Forbidden Lance. Um, this is a really good card, just not only for the protection part, but uh, some instances where you need uh, a quick attack boost over something. Uh, basically, it, ma it makes Wyvern run over uh, Stardust. Um, I'd say Xian, but Xian, if, unless you can bait out the negation, you can't really run it over. Um, not to mention stopping bottomless torrential dark hole, the works. One copy of Dragon Ravine. Um, I found I wasn't actually needing it as much uh, as I expected to, so one copy's worked, as well as giving me space to fit some other things into my deck. Uh, I know neither of the players at Top 16 in Paris ran this, but I still like it simply for the ability to uh, basically special summon a dragon from my deck, 
or get a wyvern or totem exactly where I need it to be. Uh, future fusion, Trine, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Book of Moon, Staples, all of them. Alright, we got two brand new shiny bottomless trap holes. Um, great against anything that isn't meta. Um, um, it's still good against, you know, a large part of the meta. Uh, Gravekeepers, Dragoonities, um, they they all have targets for it. You can hit Kizan or Barkeon too. So, yeah. But they're good. And worst case, you just side them out. So, nothing lost. Uh, just one copy of Seven Tools. I'd like to run two, but the other one had to be moved to the side deck to make some space for other things I wanted to be running. Um, in my opinion, basically every deck this format should be running at least one of these, just because of how prevalent counter traps are and that. One copy of Torrential, still pretty staple. Oppression uh, made its way into the main deck. It's um, I, I found out that you, you just use the theory of summoning a huge field and then oppression so they can't respond to that field for game. So, um, great card. Wins a lot of matchups game one where, where it's important. Because if you win game one, then you're in a much better position for two and three. Uh, one copy of Mirror Force. I know it's not good in theory with Stardust, Xi'an, etc. Um, static, destruction, easily negatable, blah, blah, blah. But in, in, in actual practice, it's pretty good. Um, just for, even if you just use it a one for one to protect a monster and then use that monster for something next turn, um, just good in practice, as bad as it is in theory. Mind Crush. Um, now, I was a little confused about Mind Crush's rulings earlier. Uh, I thought you had to like chain it to something like Higeki's Effect or um, what have you, but apparently you can just activate it as soon as they're done tutoring a monster. So, with that said, we've got six Samurais with Gateway, Smoke Signal, and Rhoda. X Sabers with uh, Dark Soul. Gravekeepers with Recruiter and Commandant. Um, Dragoonities with Dragon Ravine. Uh, basically everything. Miracle Gemini's got Rhoda and Ecall and Stratos, so uh, even Hero Blast. So Mind Crush is just pretty much staple. I'm going to be running it in all my decks right now. And then we've got Solemn Judgment and Solemn Warning. So there's the deck. As I said, I'm planning to go to a regionals with it. Um, hopefully I'll do well there. But either way, uh, it's been testing really well. So hopefully I'll be able to get pretty far. And maybe score an invite. Don't know. Alright, well, that's it. See you later, YouTube.